Greetings YouTube, Fuzzfinger here and welcome back to patch 7.3 of World of Warcraft Legion and this is the next video in our series where we are hunting down the highly secretive shh, Lucid Nightmare mount. So if you want to know the solution to the Gnome Ragon puzzle then stay tuned and please consider supporting this channel by hitting the like button on this video and being subscribed. Let's get started. Okay folks, so first of all I highly recommend that you go and join the WoW Secrets Discord group because that's where I've been camping out and that's where the solution has been made known for this particular uh, puzzle which is helping us to work towards this fun mount actually. It's been a lot of fun even though it's uh, been a lot of time spent outside the game, you know, just camping out in a Discord group. Uh, there's been some great interactions and whatnot, so uh, big kudos to everyone over at the group there that's really pulled together uh, and come through with this. So we've been stumped on this puzzle for some time, this is the Nomagon puzzle, and if you don't know what we're doing here, please check out the previous videos in this series that'll lead you up to this point. I'll put a, dis a, vid a link sorry, to those videos in the description of this video. And basically we had this plaque here with the binary code, or what was very obvious, uh, a binary code. And, you know, we've got the solution now. So this is what this code actually meant. Basically, this big chunk of code, well, it's in three sections. You've got the big chunk of code, the number 180, and this plus with several ones. So the first section, this big chunk of binary code, actually refers to three specific battle pet abilities. And they are Falling Murloc, which deals 684 points of damage. Mighty Charge, which deals 560 points of damage and I-Beam which deals 1,110 points of damage. And if you just put those numbers sequentially down on a bit of paper, then you get 6845601110. Now don't worry, I've said that fast, you don't need to know that really. Uh, and then the second number here, which is, or the second section here, which is the number 180, is basically a hint of, you know, you've got to do 180. So you've got to take those numbers and put them in reverse. And then when you've got those numbers and put them in reverse, you have this final section, which means that you add plus one to every single digit in that reverse sequence, which means the answer is one, two, 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 one, seven, six, five, nine, seven. So we're going to start at the first console over here to the left, and we can see it's displaying the number one. It says right there. So that's good. We're going to leave that be. And we're going to change this one to 2. So this is the second console. And we can see that it's now displaying the number 2. The third console is also going to display the number 2. Okay. Console number 4 is also going to display number 2. Just like that. Uh, and then we're going to have console 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just make sure you count these correctly. Uh, is going to display number 1. That's correct. And then console 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We want that one to display number 7. So I'm going to go down here. Oh no, you have to go up, fair enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's make sure I've got that right. And we're going to take this all the way up to number 7. So stand in front of the right console when you do this so that you don't hit the wrong one as you're going up the number sequentially. And we can see that now says number 7. So the next one, I'm just going to strafe across here, needs to display number 6. So the same thing happens again, all the way up to number 6. And there we can see number 6. And then the third from the right needs to display number 5. And one more, just check that, yeah, number 5. And then second from the right needs to display number 9, so... Since we can't go backwards, we're going to have to just go all the way up here. And one more. There we go. And then finally, number seven for the furthest right console. And if we've done this correctly, as I'm sure we have, then we should trigger the next inconspicuous note. Wow, look at that. Fantastic stuff. I reckon the first person that did that once they figured it out were excited. So there's the inconspicuous note, and here's our next clue. Games and toys are left behind when you awaken screaming. Right, so what does this mean, guys? Well, we don't know yet, <laughs> but there's one to figure out for you. 
All right then, folks. Well, that's the latest puzzle finished. So we're just going to be waiting on the rest of the community now to pull together, as I'm sure they will, and figure out the solution to this next puzzle. And when we do, I'll be right back with another video to guide you guys through it. So until then, thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit a comment as well if you, or hit a comment, type a comment as well if you have any luck with this and if you're keeping up as well. Cheers all. Goodbye.